Hey guys, in this lesson we are going to see how to programmatically go back into the previous view controller as well as to the root view controller. Now I will go ahead and implement the navigation controller into our main storyboard. I will click on this and click editor then go to embed in. Finally there is option navigation controller you can select that. Now how we can change this title to change that you can click on this icon show the hide or show the inspectors and then here you can go to this option show the attributes inspector and edit your title i will say this is the page one all right now i will add some button to here i need some constraint top pass 12 left as 12 also right as 12 then I will say go to page 2 now I will add another view controller to this here I will press this plus icon and then select a view controller and drag into here now we have to connect this button to this view controller when we click on this button this view controller should be open for that i will just press control and drag into here and then select show okay and secondly we have to create a view controller file for this our storyboard then I will go ahead and right click on this click new file we need a cocoa touch class click next subclass of view controller UI view controller and I will rename this into second view controller like that all right our file has been created class name is second view controller then we can Put that here you have to press on this little yellow icon view controller and here you have go to this option then type your class name which we created second view controller and here when you suppress this button this page will be open now we need to add a button to go back to go back we will do that in programmatically i will add a button go back and some constraint for this top as 12 left right 12 that's it now we need to connect this with the view controller i will press on this button and assistant it will load our class now if it not load here actually view control is the class which open but we need the class for our second view control we can select that by this way let's go do this in this way you have to press this add editor on right then you have to press this left side again then here you will see some path option you have to select that path here to second view controller your project name to second view controller now you can add that into your view controller i will just select on this go to page go back actually it should be go back and uh, i will press control in the keyboard and drag that into here i will name that as btn go back and I will set this equals to UI button as the type now we can just close this go to the class second view controller now there's the first way that we can go back which is if we are using the navigation view control navigation controller as we embed in earlier we can just say navigation controller in simple navigation 
C capital controller and question mark dot pop view controller pop view controller inside parentheses we have to say animated as true or false I will say true all right now let's go ahead and see whether this is working or not I will go to page 2 actually uh, I click that accidentally I will press on this go back now you can see we are in the home page now there is another option which allow us to go to the root view controller for that actually I will add the uh, another page to this view controller I will add the class for this Cocoa Touch class right click on that project Cocoa Touch class and then file name as third view controller I will rename I will create that and rename my title here firstly I will connect this page I need a button and connect this page into this uh, this page I need some constraint 36 that's okay let's keep add as it is left 12 right 12 now I will just press control and drag into here and click show and then the title we can add we can just go to this settings here and I will say third page now we can add the button before that we have to connect this storyboard with the third view controller here I will say the class name as third view controller this added accidentally all right now let's go ahead and add our button go to root view like that and I will add some constraint to this button also this will be the final button okay and here I need to connect with that with the third view control I will try assistant it is not working unfortunately for that I will just press like this and press on this left side and go to third view controller here and I will select this button and press control and drag into here I will set that connection as action say button click go home action type as UI button now we can just go to our class here here I will say if we gone want to go to the root view controller navigation controller section mark dot pop to root view controller this and inside parentheses we have to say animated as true or false now I will go ahead and run this here I can go to go page 2 and to the third page and I will press now go to root view all right now you can see we are in the root view controller okay now if you are not using navigation view controller if you press on button and you want to go to back I will just undo this okay to show you that and uh, delete this file too now we don't want this uh, navigation view controller actually uh, I will try this way now uh, we need the path 
then I will drag this one to here and I will add another view controller then I will press on this button control and drag into here click show all right now we need to connect this class with our second view controller that we created earlier press this yellow icon and go to this custom class option and I will select the second view controller this one okay and here I need add some button to this view controller and I will connect this button with already available uh, function in our class I will press on this one and go to this again and I will select this second view controller here I will connect this button with our BT and go back now we can go to the class and here instead we can say self dot dismiss and we can say animated as true or false I prefer true alright now if you want any completion handler you can say but I will keep that as empty alright now we can run this to see what will happen now I will press on this click me then actually we are going to click this button now you can see it has been go back okay that's it for this lecture and i will see in the next lecture thank you